Hi, I'm Zuzi Shekhova, Agile Coach, Certified Scrum Trainer and author of the great Scrum Master book. And today I want to talk about the Scrum Masters again. That's my favorite topic. And I want to share with you the most difficult part of becoming a great Scrum Master. And this all started with something I often call Project Manager Syndrome. A lot of Scrum Masters started as a Project Managers originally. And then somebody came and says, now you're going to be Scrum Master. And they say, okay, what does it mean? We don't know. So they do whatever they always did. They try to control, then try to make things happen. They try to organize. They try to push for delivery. They try to advise. But that's definitely not what a Scrum Master role is about. That just doesn't work. Sooner or later, they realize it. And sooner or later, they come up with a lighter version of this syndrome. You know, they start to be more Scrum Master, less project managers, but they still feel a strong need of advising people. I have to tell them, they often tell me. I have to advise them. I have to make sure that they don't fail. But maybe not. Maybe the one thing you really need to make sure is that they learn from failure. You need to have enough patience to let them fail, let things go, let it go by themselves. Because that's the only way how you can ever create great self-organizing teams. Thank you for listening. Have fun.